Hello everybody, let's take a look at how to uh, merge drawings. We're going to use the uh, new merge capability that's in uh, Release 9. And uh, by the way, all this works in uh, Viewer as well, so you can try it with the uh, free Viewer if you don't have 9. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to combine drawings. And what we're looking at here is a map uh, that's been created in Release 9. And it has a variety of layers. There's the U.S. States layer in the background. Uh, there's the Cities layers and a uh, Labels layers layer. And uh, here we have uh, three... Uh, layers that show the uh, census tracts for uh, New York, Pennsylvania, and uh, New Jersey. All three have been downloaded from uh, different government websites, and uh, of course they all three use different uh, uh, projections. The map itself uses a uh, U.S. Lambert conformal con con U.S. Lambert conformal conic projection, so it has this kind of classic. Uh, let's uh, zoom to fit that kind of classic boat shape that you see in. Uh, uh, U.S. Uh, school books. Uh, and uh, the New Jersey tracks here uh, use Transus Mercator. That's uh, the New Jersey State Plane Projection System. The uh, Pennsylvania tracks use uh, a Mercator projection of some sort. Uh, we could look in the details and see exactly what it is, what, what, it, what it is, but it's apparently similar to Pseudo Mercator, but slightly different. And the uh, New York uh, census uh, tracks use a latitude and longitude projection. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, merge all three uh, together uh, into one, and we'll choose a prediction. We'll, we'll define what that is. So to do that, we will choose Edit Merge, Merge Drawings. And uh, here are all the different labels that we have to work with. We're going to provide a name for the resultant drawing. Let's call it Merged Tracks. Great. And uh, I don't want the source component for each record. That, that simply adds the field saying, which uh, which record uh, came from which source component. Well, let's add it. What the heck? Uh, we're not going to bother skipping records with null geometry because they win. I know they all have geometry. Down here are a list of all the uh, drawings that we have in the map. We don't want to add the U.S. Cities uh, map layer to the uh, merged drawing, so I will double-click that to, to remove that. And likewise, we don't want uh, to add the U.S. States to the uh, merged tracks. We're, so I'll double-click on that to uh, not use that as well. And that leaves these three uh, layers as the ones that are going to be merged into a single layer. The coordinate system that the drawing uses, this U.S. Lambert conformal conic. And uh, that uses that because the U.S. cities layer uses LC U.S. LCC. Uh, that's a custom projection which we've defined. And uh, uh, by default, the merge dialog offers the very first uh, projection which one of those uses. If we wanted to use one of these others, we could uh, right-click on that and use the coordinate system. Transverse Mercator, though, would be a pretty poor choice. And uh, this unknown Mercator would be a pretty good, poor choice, too, as, as so would latitude and longitude. What we can do is just simply choose one of the standard coordinate systems that we have. And uh, what I will do is I will choose the uh, WGS84 pseudo Mercator system. There. Uh, and to actually move, merge all these uh, those tracks together, we just click Merge Components. And there it goes, and it's done. So uh, that's remarkably quick with such a small uh, data set. It's virtually instantaneous. We haven't changed any of the existing drawings. We've just uh, created a new one called uh, Merged Tracks. If I open up Merged Tracks in its own window, there it is. And that's in uh, Pseudo Mercator Projection. If we like, we can uh, unclick these off and then drag and drop Merged Tracks into here. And as you can see, Manifold is happy to uh, reproject it on the fly. Or if what, what we could do is we could uh, create a uh, new map called Map2. Let's open that up. And uh, we can put a uh, Bing layer into it. Let's create a new data so new favorite data source. Let's use uh, Bing Street Maps. Drag it into Map2. And then what we'll do is we'll take these uh, merge tracks and we'll put the merge tracks in there as well. I'm going to uh, control click on this uh, layer to uh, automatically zoom to that layer. And we can see the various tiles fill in from the uh, Bing layer. Uh, now, all the uh, tiles that, all that were formerly separate are now uh, brought together. So we can uh, alt click on uh, any on the merge tracks layer here. I'll click on any one of these and see what it is. And that'll report the uh, record values for that. Uh, and here's one in New Jersey. And here's one in what was New York. As you can see, some of the fields here are, are nulls because uh, what, what the package did 
is it, it took all the records, and we told it to use all the records from all the uh, drawings. So when it creates a table uh, like this, uh, like this uh, merged uh, tracks table, uh, it's going to bring in fields from every one of the different uh, drawings that was, uh, that was used, some of which are going to be empty. And here, by the way, is the source field, so we can choose so we know where all the source drawings were from. If, if we like, what we can do is we can uh, format this uh, merge tracks based on... Uh, okay, so let's put that here. Let's, let's uh, format that based on the uh, source. And that'll be unique values. And let's choose a uh, color brewer accent. So that'll automatically format them all so we can see uh, from which state they originally came from. But th these are no longer three separate drawings. It's all one drawing. So there you go. It's that easy to uh, merge drawings. It doesn't matter what projection the drawing is in. Unlike merging images where you have to pay some attention to the uh, coordinate system that's used for the output for the combined uh, image to make sure that local uh, local scales for x and y are correct because uh, that depends. You know that that's important for uh, images in terms of pixels. You don't have to worry about that with vector drawings. You can just pretty much choose whatever output projection that you like. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you uh, find it useful to uh, use this dialog and bringing together di various data sets. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye from uh, Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.